Opera Philadelphia is in the midst of an exciting season, and recently students at String Theater Charter School in Center City had a special opportunity to learn about opera music and performance. This morning, we kick off Black History Month with the story of a rising soprano star, Brandy Ines Sutton, who spent some time with those students ahead of her debut with Opera Philadelphia this weekend. think that opera, which originated in Italy in the 1500s, would not be the type of music that would interest Philadelphia kids in 2023. But you'd be surprised. I love opera. Students at String Theory Charter love the art form, but achieving the dream is where these teens need a little inspiration. I love seeing people that look like me doing what I want to do also. I had to sing her ballad. In comes soprano Brandy Ines Sutton. She paid their school a visit to show what happens when talent meets hard work. I had a friend who uh, told me that she played a clip of me singing for a friend of hers and she said, I didn't even know black people sang opera. And I'm like, wow. So there are adults who don't even know, you know, and, and it's nothing against her, but I'm here to educate <laughs> and to make aware. The songstress attributes her rise in the opera world to being her most authentic self. And if I don't reach outside of that box, then maybe I won't be remembered because if Handel or if Mozart had a stuck to what Handel was doing, we wouldn't remember Mozart. We wouldn't have the classical period. If Puccini had stuck to what Mozart was teaching or those styles, we wouldn't have Verismo. We, you know, we wouldn't have the evolution of, of our art and of mankind. In breaking down industry standards of what opera should look like or sound like is where Brandy connects most to her audience. So my coach said to me, oh, don't do that because it's a little popish. It'll make it sound popish. I said, that's exactly what I want <laughs> because that's me. You know, that those little nuances and things I think are Brandy. You know, things that people are like, ooh, I like that. It wasn't stylistically correct, but I like it. <laughs> So it's just about making people kind of open their eyes and seeing possibilities. This week, the singer debuts with Opera Philadelphia for a concert performance of the critically acclaimed Carmina Burana, another admirable achievement in Brandy's story. The one part that stuck with me was when she said she, uh, she start, just started training and she'll been doing this for six years so far. And like a lot of opera singers, they start when they're real young. Just to see when she started in the late age, like it's still possible you can do anything you want. So it kind of reassured me and like felt comforting. Brandy knows just how life changing these moments can be. With my hope in mankind and humanity, I knew it was gonna happen. It's just a matter of when. Especially when the person on stage looks like those in the audience. She is such an inspiration. The Opera Philadelphia Chorus and Orchestra will take center stage at the Academy of Music in Philadelphia this weekend for a concert of Carl Orff's Carmina Burana and Margaret Bond's Credo. The concert marks the Philadelphia premiere of Credo based on a prose poem by the late civil rights activist W.E.B. Du Bois. The performances are Friday, February 3rd, and Sunday, February 5th. You can get all the details in the Philly Live section of NBC10.com or the NBC10 app.